So why didn't I set the record in catching the most paintballs in Guinness's uh, show? Well, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. I went out there, I wouldn't say thinking that it was going to be easy, but uh, I didn't see it the way um, I should have. Uh, they made a big production out of this. <laughs> that soundstage was amazing. Uh, you know, it's one for me thing to tell you about it. It's, it's another to actually stood there and, and it was stunning. I mean, they had probably 30 to 50 people maintaining the set alone. I mean, it was that big, it was that huge, there was that much involved. It was like something out of Star Wars. I was blown away. And when they brought the studio audience in, uh, that really that really brought it home. Uh, you know, having the you know the two MCs there and the uh, and the show host, it was um, it, it was like wow. You know, you, you've watched these things all your life on television, and here I am standing there within the framework of this scene. Uh, now I'm not going to say that's the reason why I failed. Uh, the reason that I did not succeed is um, something I can't really re divulge to you because uh, they're they're planning on having a redemption show if the show is successful, and I plan on being invited back. And to that regard, I already know that I can blow this record away. Um, you're going to say, well, what do you mean you didn't do it in the first place? Well, what I'd like to share with you is that running up into the event, all the practices up to the event, uh, we were blowing this record away. We were actually doubling the number. And I made two changes prior to going on the show. Uh, one before I got on the plane and one actually on the set. And I do regret them. And those two changes, I think, made a huge difference. In fact, I know they do it because look at the outcome. Uh, I had to prove that I could set the record before I could be on the show. You know, to send in the video to the producers and things of that nature played out. So they, they know I can do it, and uh, I know I can do it. Now it's time for me to show it to you and claim that record. Having said that, I'd like to tip my hat to my predecessor, and um, you know, you, you've done a great job with this. Uh, I, I, I don't want to um, talk about how you did it, because I think when I do, it'll explain um, why I think I'm going to double that number uh, in, in, the, in the months to come when this thing is reshot, if it's reshot. Heck, if it's not reshot by um, Guinness, I guarantee you this spring I will go out and record a number of videos with me and some, uh, uh, some paintball cohorts and show you uh, just how it, it will in fact be broken. Uh, at that point, you know, Guinness can come out and just you know, bring out their little clicker on their own and, and, uh, and document it. But for the most part, I'd like to share with you all that this was a wonderful experience. The, the folks at Guinness treated me with absolute respect. The producers of the show were really top-notch, class act people. I, I liked them. They, um, they didn't have to um, uh, play me up. They didn't have to bait me into saying things. Uh, you know, the, they were fortunate in this particular endeavor that they, this wasn't your typical reality TV show. The, 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 the volume of the content on the show compressed everything into this really nice package of really good entertainment. And they didn't need to rely on people making fools of themselves or tricking people, you know, into saying things they would never really say in real life, so that they can make them look like assholes. Um, so, in this whole experience, I can't say I didn't enjoy it. Um, my goal was twofold. One was to, you know, obviously build some exposure for my own uh, endeavors, my own media challenges, but uh, also to represent the paintball community fairly. You know, I, I am a paintballer. I've been playing for 15 years. And I, you know, I've come through the gamut of starting in the woods like everybody, playing some tournament ball, heading back to the woods, and then trying to give that gift to others by sharing all of the things that I know. I'm not God's gift to paintball, but I do think I know enough that I can be a good diplomat of this sport, and that's really my place in all this. Um, so if you know, if you're a speedballer out there watching this, if you're anybody who's so, you know, heavy duty into paintball that you think you got something to teach me, you know, it's, you're wasting your energy. We're on the same team here. We're both here trying to promote the sport, so think of it in those terms. Thank you. It's too much for any man!